when combustion occurs in an engine, the piston is forced downward. The force is transferred into the connecting rod and then in turn transferred into the crankshaft. In other words, the motion of the piston is transferred into the crankshaft. By scientific definition, the crankshaft converts linear motion into rotational motion. What this means is that all the power an engine creates goes through the crankshaft and it has to be one of the strongest components in the engine. Crankshafts have many different features, which are often referred to during service or when ordering related components. The crankshaft is mounted in the engine block and held in place by main caps, which are bolted to the block. Bearings protect the crankshaft at these mounting locations, which are precisely machined to match the bearings, and these points are referred to as the main bearing journals. The rod bearing journals, sometimes called pins, are where the connecting rods attach, and these areas too are precisely machined to match the rod bearings. Crank webs connect the main and rod journals together. The counterweights, which are located on the end of a crank web, offset or balance the inertia of the piston and connecting rod. They are cast or forged as part of the crank when it is made and balanced by adding or removing metal. The front of the crankshaft is called the nose or snout and often features keyways for the timing gear and harmonic balancer. The large flange at the rear is called the flywheel flange and contains bolt holes to mount the flywheel or flex plate. The crank throw refers to a connecting rod journal and its connecting webs, and this term is also used as a measure of the distance from center line to center line between the main and rod journals, which determines the stroke of an engine. Oil passages are located in the main and rod journals. Pressurized oil is pumped from the block into the main bearings and from there through the crankshaft to the rod bearings. Last but not least, some crankshafts have a feature called fillets, which are radii in the transition between the crank web and bearing journal. These strengthen the crank but require the use of narrow or chamfered bearings. That covers crankshaft terminology. Next month, we'll take a look at connecting rods. Thanks for watching.